morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to uh, slash conversation so briefing. Um, I know we have back-to-back -back events, so um, the participation today is extremely encouraging. Uh, we have with us today uh, to deliver the keynote address the Secretary of the Ministry of Defence and Urban Infrastructure, Mr. Godabe Rajpaksha. Uh, urban infrastructure, surprisingly, we have found, is a very important criteria for investment in Sri Lanka. So Jeeva and I and, and the rest of the board have met, um, I think, 20 to 30 delegations over the last few months who, uh, who are interested in investing in IT and uh, BPO industry in Sri Lanka. And one of the first things that they ask us is about the outlook for urban infrastructure. So this has to some extent surprised us, and therefore, without the best person to get to talk about the outlook is the architect of um, this policy in recent times, um, Sir Amit Raksha, who also, interestingly, we'll find later, has uh, extensive experience in our industry. To get things underway, let me start uh, by inviting our chairman, Mr. Sujiva Devaraja. Defense Secretary, uh, Mr. Gurthabe Rajapaksha, distinguished participants, uh, very warm welcome to all of you. Uh, since my colleague will shortly be introducing our chief guest, let me use uh, these 10 minutes to give all of you a brief uh, introduction to SLASCOM, its objectives and activities, the current state of the industry, and a few words on the relevance of urban infrastructure to our industry. A couple of people have asked me, SLASCOM being an IT BPO chamber, why did we choose this particular topic? Actually, it is a very, very relevant topic. A few words on why IT BPO for Sri Lanka. Uh, we are already one of the top five export revenue earners for Sri Lanka, as confirmed by the Central Bank, as well as the Export Development Board. And not only are we one of the top in terms of gross foreign exchange earnings, but when it comes to net foreign exchange earnings, we are even higher because in our industry, we expose, export only the ingenuity of our people. We don't have any uh, imported raw materials that we add value to and re-export. So the value addition in our industry is uh, close to 100%. Our industry provides uh, white collar jobs in comfortable, safe, secure uh, surroundings, which is what most of the young people in Sri Lanka today aspire to. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I just wanted to give all of you a brief flavor of uh, SLASCOM, its activities, the industry, and also the importance of uh, infrastructure uh, for our industry. And uh, with those words, I will now uh, hand over to, uh, the, uh, to Imran, who will introduce the next speaker. Next, uh, to introduce our guest speaker, particularly about his background, all of you know some of it, but you may not know uh, the part connected to the IT and so on. Somebody who knows that intimately is somebody who's worked with him um, uh, during his tenure in the IT industry. Anurag Tendikon is the country manager at the moment uh, of Motorola Solutions Sri Lanka, but more importantly, he's also a board member and a chairman of our Capacity and HR Forum. So let me introduce Anurag to come, come on board and, and introduce our guest speaker. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It, it, it gives me a great pleasure to introduce the uh, speaker today, Honorable Secretary to Ministry of Defense and uh, Urban Development, Mr. Gotabe Rajapaksa. Mr. Gotabe Rajapaksa, RWP, RSP, PSC, MSC. Mr. Rajapaksa assumed duties as the Secretary to Ministry of Defense in November 2005. In this capacity, he guided the Sri Lankan defense services to victory against the separatist terrorism of the LTTE, thereby ending the 30-year-long conflict of Sri Lanka. A career soldier, Mr. Rajpaks joined Sri Lanka Army in 1971 and served his country with distinction for 20 years. Following his successful career in Sri Lankan Army, and in IT industry in Sri Lanka, Mr. Rajpaks obtained a master uh, degree in information technology from the University of Colombo. He subsequently worked as the Unix system administrator 
of the prestigious Loyola Law School in Los Angeles, California, prior to returning to Sri Lanka to take up his appointment as the Secretary to the Ministry of Defense. So, as part of SLASCOM, we thought he is the best speaker to educate us on this vital subject important to our industry as the Secretary as well as an experienced uh, IT professional. Sir, it's with great respect now I invite you to enlighten this distinguished gathering on the future outlook of urban infrastructure development in Sri Lanka. Chairman of the SLASCOM, members of the Board of Directors of SLASCOM, Chairman and Chief Executive Officers present here, distinguished invitees, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, say I thank the Sri Lanka Association of Software and Service Companies, SLASCOM, for having invited me to speak at this executive briefing. I'm aware that uh, SLASCOM brings together leading companies in the information technology and business process of outsourcing sectors to one forum. And that it also helps develop these industries in order to promote Sri Lanka as a leading destination for global businesses. Having emerged from a devastating three decades long terrorist conflict less than four years ago, Sri Lanka requires such positive intent from all right-thinking citizens. The country suffered countless lost opportunities as a result of the LTT's terrorism and although it is now one of the most stable and peaceful countries in the world, it needs to make up for those lost opportunities and rapidly develop. Associations such as SLASCOM have a very uh, important role to play facilitating the growth of important local industries. This will strongly supplement the many other positive developments taking place in the country today. Tourist arrivals are on the rise with more and more internationally recognized travel magazines selecting Sri Lanka as one of the top rated holiday destinations in the world. In uh, keeping with this trend, more than a million tourist arrivals were recorded in the country during 2012. There are many sectors in which Sri Lanka has tremendous potential. The IT and BPO sectors are two of the best examples. There are already a number of local companies that have uh, made a mark internationally by developing very high standard software products. Most of the software engineers and other professionals who developed these products were educated and trained here as were the entrepreneurs who created opportunities for them to build strong careers in this country. <coughs> the many projects undertaken over the last three years by the Ministry of Defense and Urban Development have had this objective firmly in view. I will take this opportunity to outline some of these projects. The Metro Kalampu Urban Development Project is a five year long undertaking financed through a World Bank loan. It addresses several issues that have long troubled Kalampu as a result of its rapid, organic, and somewhat unregulated growth over many decades. The drainage infrastructure such as the primary and secondary canals and lakes as well as micro drainage
canals with the city, within the city will be improved. The Bere Lake, which was virtually neglected for many decades, will be completely rehabilitated. Its gates, uh, tributaries and output canals will be unblocked and improved and the pollution caused by unauthorized settlements and buildings on its uh, boundaries will be firmly addressed. Once the project is completed, the Bailey Lake will be transformed into worthy uh, centerpiece for a revitalized city. Improvements will also be made to the Padagana Park in Kote under this project. In Kalambu, the development of such spaces near Independence Square, Water's Edge, the Japan-Sri Lanka Friendship Road, and the Navada Nugegoda <coughs> Wetland Park near Nugegoda have proven extremely popular. Thousands of people use and enjoy uh, these uh, walking tracks and bicycle paths on daily basis. Similar initiatives have already been taken in the Gampaha district and many more are planned in, in, the, in all the metropolitan areas that are being developed by the uh, Urban Development Authority. People of all ages and economic backgrounds are able to use these facilities free. This has greatly improved the standard of living in the urban areas and it is also felt that these initiatives will help reduce long-term health issues such as diabetes and heart diseases among the general public. Old Auditor General's building which was also a hospital dating back to the Dutch era is currently in the process of being rehabilitated. These initiatives are also taking place outside Kalam. For example, there are a lot of uh, restoration, restoration uh, going on in the Gaul Fort and the Jaffna Fort, which had been damaged by the LTT during the war, is now being completely renovated. The assistance given to improve the lives of people in underserved and unauthorized settlements is also worthy of mention. All of these developments have created many opportunities for growth in Sri Lanka. However, for these opportunities to be fully utilized, our business community and our industrialists must also work hard. While developing a world-class capital city is essential, it is also important to accelerate growth outside the Western province. The quality of life in these larger cities outside Colombo are improving as the urban development of <coughs> those areas improve. And it is important for, uh, for established companies to branch out into these areas. Entrepreneurs must come up with uh, innovative new ideas for industries that will further spur economic growth or come up with new uh, business, uh, business ideas that will help foster growth in the service sector. As uh, Sri, Sri Lanka strive to make up for the lost opportunities it suffered in the past due to the war, all of us must work together and work hard to unlock our country's true economic potential. If we join hands as Sri Lankans and work hard uh, towards this common cause, I have uh, every confidence that we will be uh, successful. Thank you. Thank you.